Hello everyone, welcome to part 33 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the admin panel. So this is the last video of the basic admin panel that can be used for any Laravel website. After this video from part 34, we will start working on the e-commerce specific admin panel. Okay, so uh, the users who want to make dating business blog portfolio event personal membership non-profit information and online forum website can use this basic admin panel for their website of course e-commerce uh, for e-commerce also we can use this basic admin panel okay so these type of websites means almost every type of website that you are going to make in laravel you are required to create the admin panel and this admin panel that we have used the admin LTE template that is one of the best template available in the market today okay so this admin panel we have created for all the websites uh, that you are going to make in Laravel I'm going to log in and will show, show you see remember me feature is, all, is also there for the first time we have added the remember me feature in our admin panel and see in this video we are going to make it ready we are going to remove the unwanted things from the admin panel and we will just keep the things that we require also few more updates with the roles and permission okay we will not show the unnecessary things in admin panel in sub admin okay so we are going to do few updates in this video so that we can able to make the admin panel basic admin panel for all the websites okay so, so that can that you can use for any Laravel website so let's do few changes first of all uh, we are going to update this dashboard I'm going to remove all this that is not required you can uh, always add from the admin template if you want to add but right now I'm going to remove as most of the time we don't require so many things in the admin panel okay so I'm going to open here the dashboard blade file okay so here i'm going to remove the unwanted things starting from this monthly recap report to uh, the last one okay view all orders okay so this one uh, i'm going to remove right now but later on i can add from the uh, admin template if any time i require any feature okay though these are most of the features are related to the reporting all these are related to the reporting that we need to do after we build the website okay so at this time uh, it will not serve our, our purpose so we can remove all these things okay that is not mandatory at all so i'm going to remove this one i will do it like this monthly recap and also this one so these two divs i am going to remove these two divs let's see if uh, only necessary uh, part uh, we are left with okay you can see everything is empty now just these four icons and you can update as per your own requirement if you are going to build the e-commerce website with me from the next video we are going to update these icons in the next video like we will keep here uh, total products total uh, total categories uh, total uh, orders total users okay such kind of things we are going to update for the e-commerce and if in case we are going to make the dating website then we can uh, show like total users okay and like uh, total subscribers also we can show uh, total friends and something like such kind of things total messages like how many communication how much communication is going into the dating website uh, so such kind of things we can show here okay so uh, so like in the case of education like uh, total courses total exams total students okay uh, so such kind of things we can show for the education related so it depends upon the website to website we can change as per our own website requirement okay so also see uh, we will make it uh, dashboard only uh, v2 is not required v2 is specific to the admin LTE template but we can update to the dashboard okay also see we can update this logo as well that is uh, now not required admin lte you can update it uh, as per your website name you can add your website name here instead of the admin lte okay i'm going to search here admin lte where it is given 
here I am going to inspect this one straight away ok so here I can simply search this uh, here and uh, if, it, uh, if I am not able to find I am going to search in the whole website ok so here I can see that admin LTE login here you will give your website name like e-commerce website you are going to make e-commerce website or anything uh, that you require like this is the login of the admin you can simply give admin panel here login okay no v2 is required here okay uh, like in the same way uh, for the layout as well we can make it simply like admin panel dashboard like this we can update for all okay here also uh, we can simply uh, make it like admin panel okay so now see uh, we can update like this and you can able to see the admin panel here okay so like this uh, uh, so sidebar also we are going to update we are going to remove the links that we no, are not required right now uh, later on we are going to add these links okay uh, so uh, like see you can see these kind of icons at the left sidebar okay uh, from the template itself we can make these tabs later on okay so right now I'm going to remove these all so in sidebar I'm going to remove from the charts to uh, this information uh, so I am simply going to select all okay select carefully okay uh, because we are not uh, we don't want to remove anything else that will uh, destroy our format so do it carefully okay so up till li all allies we have removed all that are we don't require at this time so i'm going to refresh here okay you can see okay now it is fine here also you can remove and you can give your website name as well okay at the footer okay so i want to tell you that uh, this one is for the dummy purpose okay so you can remove you can give your website name here okay so i can simply remove it right now i will just keep it like this i am going to remove the version as well that i don't require at this time okay so here in copyright you can add here like uh, yeah, we will not add such kind of uh, thing because uh, year by year uh, it is going to update so we are going to here give the date format okay date we are going to give here the date format okay uh, date like uh, today date uh, ymd uh, only year is required we will just keep the year here okay i am going to uh, make it echo like this let's try only year is required latest year sit as yet of 2023 all rights reserved okay so uh, rest see sidebar we have updated this one updated and here uh, from sidebar search is also not required so we can remove this search as well okay so see this search is not required uh, so we can simply remove this search that we don't require at all uh, okay so now we will just keep the things that we require okay so now it's fine so from the uh, header as well we just require these kind of things we don't require these we require this one as well but rest of the icons we don't require okay so uh, we are going to remove those icons from the header as well okay so here just uh, see which one uh, starting from here i'm going to search uh, once again search okay search is here so we can simply do it like this like going to check here all right now bar links okay so here it is uh, now bar, this one messages drop down menu notification drop down this one okay so now see we will just keep the second one and rest we don't require at all so we can remove all these and we can also remove this later on we can add from the template anytime if we require 
just one we keep rest we all we can remove and also here you can see the uh, url is required to update here index 3.html is given okay so we are going to update this one as well index 3.html find see where it is so that we can able to update this as well here it is okay so i'm going to bring the url so we will give here the dashboard url okay dashboard check once like uh, if you will go to any other page like cms pages uh, so here admin also require admin dashboard okay so just refresh and click on this one see it will take us to the dashboard okay so like this we have updated now we will log in to the sub admin okay uh, so few things uh, we are required to do at the sub admin here i will log into this sub admin and this sub admin uh, he is having uh, access of uh, cms you can see it is having this access of cms so i'm going to log out and log in with this sub admin few things see remember we is also working we can uh, click on remember me to remember this sub admin okay that we have done for the first time in admin panel and here you can see the sub admin is logged in you can see here welcome amit sub admin but here we don't want to give the settings access and also we will we don't want to give the sub admin access to the sub admin so these access we only want to give to the admin or super admin okay so i'm going to disable this one for the sub admin so we will add the condition here okay to disable these all the condition that we have uh, always used see the in, in the admin controller as well we have added those condition like uh, i think in cms controller as well uh, here also we have added the condition uh, i'm going to check the condition that we have added mm, add uh, cms controller at the admin and here i'm going to check see this is the condition so this condition we require there as well in the uh, sidebar as well so uh, see we will just uh, show the dashboard so these modules we will not show like this one li and this one also we will not show uh, yeah so these two modules we are not going to show we will only show to the admin if the if uh, the user type is admin then we are going to show these modules and if okay so i can simply do it like this okay so let's see now uh, let's see if we able to uh, hide these one from the sub admin uh, yes you can see only dashboard and cms pages have appeared rest of the things settings update admin password update admin details sub admins have been removed from the left side part of the sub admin panel okay only cms pages as well as the dashboard okay so now if in case uh, the admin uh, removes the cms pages access from the sub admin like uh, if uh, uh, i'm going to show you uh, see i'm going to log into the uh, admin here okay uh, not the amit i'm going to log into the admin at the rate of admin remember me i can use the remember me for this one as well it will save over time here you can see the all access is given to the admin or super admin here i am going to update the permission for this sub admin amit at the rate of admin.com i am going to update the permission of this sub admin okay i am going to make it inactive i am going to make it inactive okay so here you can see sub admin roles updated successfully and you can click on logout and now uh, we can log in with the amit at the rate of admin.com and we can log in now and see cms page uh, this uh, uh, this admin this sub admin is not having access to these cms pages so i'm going to click and check see this feature is stricter for you i enable this uh, sub admin unable to assess the cms pages here you can see because we have not provided the admin have not provided any access to this sub admin so this feature cms pages module is not opening at all okay so now see our admin panel is ready now uh, and we can use this admin panel uh, 
for all the websites like uh, for the e-commerce for the dating and all others website uh, i have mentioned here okay business blog portfolio any website you are going to do you can use this basic admin panel the rest of the modules you can add of your own in these uh, 33 videos i have provided you that how you can add uh these sections like cms pages how you can add the modules like cms pages sub admins also i have uh, shown you that how to add the roles and permission also also i have added this update admin password and update admin details see all these things are mandatory to make the admin panel so uh, we have provided everything login logout dashboard okay and also remember me functionality so you can use this sub admin uh, sorry this admin panel for any of the Laravel website that you are going to make. From the next video, we are going to update this admin panel to the e-commerce specific, okay? We will start working on the modules like the, like the categories, products, uh, brands, okay? All these kind of modules we are going to add for the e-commerce, okay? And if you are going to make any other website, you can use this admin panel and can add your own modules, uh, okay, in, into it. So if you want to get this basic admin panel, you can simply become the member. I always suggest you to become the member to get the source code with complete support. Okay, you, you some, uh, simply need to open this Tag Developers YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tag Developers. This is the channel name, okay, Tag Developers. And you can always click on join to get the membership as per your own requirement to get this uh, admin panel. To get the source code of this admin panel and you will get not only the source code of this admin panel you will get the many websites like the e-commerce website dating website multi vendor e-commerce okay rect series rect app so many things as per your own requirement you can become the basic premium advanced superior genius member and can uh, avail the benefits of these memberships and become the expert in laravel okay so that's all for now have a nice time Goodbye.